Everybody nomadic treasure hunter here. I uh, had to do modification to my Majestic 2003 Class C motorhome. Uh, issue was that uh, how this one is built is the floor is separate from the walls. So the walls separated. So the, with the tongue part where the overhead bunk was was banging a roof. It was it kept going like this, as you see, going like that. So the modification that we did, there's a steel rail that goes up to here. So we put two plates here, plate on that side of the rail, plate on that side of the rail. We drilled it in there with a, um, less than, maybe like quarter inch bolts. And then we put uh, steel plates in there. And we jacked her up. We jacked it up to the height of factory because we could see uh, the silicone, where the silicone originally met with the body lines. So we, she originally, if you look inside there, Hard to see there, but it was almost touching the the rail in the frame. Now it's about three inches higher, and the height here also. If you look for the top lights, it was about uh, three inches lower. So what happened? It was just it kept tubbing out. So now what we did is modification. Uh, there's a heavy duty rail in here, so we put like I said, use uh, Home Depot parts. That was one, two pieces of uh, 30 inch, or sorry, three. Three foot lengths so we cut them to size to try to keep it I could have made it smaller but uh, I try to keep this body line with that body line and that body line to that trim line we're gonna paint it all nice and white and we'll silicone it so it would be hard to tell it's there but all these class C's with this type design like I say it's the floor the floor is separate from the walls so they put tiny little screws in there and what happens those screws rot away and it over time it starts bouncing and what happens is um, I have a feeling um, I took it for some repairs and they, they lifted up the body the body separated from this part I can't prove it but hey, I think that's part of what happened last couple repairs we did we were lifted up wrong but anyways now it is all pretty good solid we're gonna lower the jacks in a few minutes but we like to say we put three bolts on each side so six bolts in that corner six on that and I'll show you on the other side of this mortar home. What I did is also here, these screws hold up the, the walls to the floor. So when these screws, they break or they get loose and it compromises your, your uh, outer walls. So I'm gonna replace those, those screws, which they were missing anyways, was part of the problem. And it's the other side here. So once it's uh, all silicone in there, it should be good. Nice and solid. Get back in. I showed you here. What I did is I rescrewed this area here. I had to pre-tap it with a drill bit because it was solid steel. So that's part of your structure here that holds the floor wall from the floor. So I redid this. Those ones are still okay. The other ones were all snapped off or they're missing. So we're gonna lower it now. I'll get back to after lowered. Bye bye. Hi everybody, Nomadic Treasure Hunter here. I uh, did the final here. Uh, so basically, uh, if people don't understand why this actually, the cab started dropping, is if you look at the trim here, is the floor line. That's the floor line. So the screws go right into the floor and they hold the floor up. So the wall, wall goes on the side of the floor down like that. It doesn't sit on top of the floor, it just goes right down. You see that's a waterproof design where the water goes between the wall and goes down. It won't stay on the floor and rot it out. So the design is flawed because all that weight up and down forcing like this will eventually knock those screws loose. So what I ended up doing is I modified to put these lag, lag bolts in here. Uh, it goes, there's actually a, a uh, angle iron channel in here. So we went through that angle iron, bolted the, this and this on both sides. So that's what you're seeing. My wife uh, just got home from work. My wife just prepped this and painted it. So just, that's her work there. We'll silicone and caulk it really good after. But as you can see, originally this this part here was actually down to here. Now it's nice and level. The body lines are identical to factory. And the clearance here is really good. There's a slight, a slight deflection here, like this, just a little bit, right? Before it was going like that. The motion was like that, so it was actually hitting those lights. 
since we propped the, the body up, uh, we put like brackets on both sides. So now it's solid. It drives really nice, super happy with that. So 2003, it's super old. Like I say, it's not that new. I just really like the design. Like I say, I got all the solar cells in here. I got an inverter, uh, backup cameras, nice stereo. Everything's in here, so uh, I just like the design. I got ham radio equipped, everything basically off the grid. Uh, it might not be the nicest looking uh, repair job. At least I know it's gonna be better than little tiny screws. Because when, when I went into that uh, compartment on the other side, uh, the screws were shaved off from the force clock along the side here inside that uh, cubby hole there I showed you earlier we just put brand new screws in we had to retap it because it's solid it's a solid rail that's in there so we re we, we uh, tap we put a small drill bit in there and, and then we screwed it in with a metal screw so that's my baby here like I say it's I wouldn't say it's the prettiest job but hey at least I know it's not gonna be a problem now beautiful clearance there I'm gearing up, ready to go to California. And I'm actually going to shoe swap near the end of the month, but I also am going to California shortly. So I took it there uh, about two years ago. It was beautiful. It had a lot of power. It just drove excellent. But like I say, uh, the top used to bang on the lights once in a while on a big bump or something, and it got so bad that it just started resting almost on the lights. So now that problem is fixed. So if you do have a, a Class C similar to this, this one's majestic uh, and your cab starts dropping, especially if it's a pickup truck style, you know what to do. You'll have to jack up the outer shell, not the floorboard because the floor is solid, the outside wall. Jack up the outside wall. Uh, they say what you should do is put lag bolts in there, but since I put this modification with these heavy plate and bolts into the angle iron frame, frame on each corner, then I re-screwed that side, you know, it's not going to go nowhere, it's solid. So that's a modification you guys can do. Uh, it cost me basically uh, maybe, say, under $200. Like, it cost me $50 for the metal, the bolts, then we're talking about paint, caulking. So let's say $150 plus labor. You'll need a drill. Uh, you need a little Sawzall drill. What I did is see if it, the plate, that one is a little bit higher is because the body line is a trim there. So I want to match that trim. The lower plate goes between that trim, the other one matches that trim. So when it's all cocked up, you know, you'll see a few lag bolts sticking out there. They're rounded. Still gonna look pretty good. So that's my modification for a Nomadic Treasure Hunter. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Please subscribe.